All right, Cancers, come on in the room. We have a reading for you, Cancer, Cancers, Cancers. Get in here for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. Welcome, I'm Tiffany. We are here to explore the wisdom of the tarot. I do intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Everything might not resonate and that's okay. Before I start your reading, I want to go ahead and bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Cancer, let us get started with your reading and see what divine spirit needs you to know for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. For all my cancers, how are you? Drop in the comments below what you are excited for in the upcoming week. What are you looking forward to? Do you have any big plans? Let's see what the cards have to say. Divine Spirit, give us what cancer needs to know for their upcoming week. Thank you. All right, we've got Page of Pentacles in the set, the shadow position on the bottom of the, of the deck. Shadow cards point to either your hopes or your fears. We will get into this. Okay, Cancers, let's see what we have for you. Interesting, very interesting, Cancer. We have the Tower, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Seven of Cups. A lot of relationship and emotion going on here for you, Cancer. There's going to be a sudden change in your life, Cancer, with this tower. A tower moment is about to happen for you, Cancer. This, what am I feeling? This sudden change is going to have you reevaluating and assessing your relationships. That's what I'm feeling, Cancer. This sudden change, it's relation, relationship-wise, is going to be a sudden change, a big change. Now, I, I am not getting who, <clears throat> or if it's more than one person, I'm not getting that yet. We will try to get clarifiers. But this, this sudden change will have you reevaluating how you do relationship with this person or persons. Here with the Ten of Cups, you absolutely want to have a happy ending, right? The, the best life ever. Um, and yet, because I'm seeing the tower here with this Ten of Cups, there's something ending. There is a relationship ending and it's go and it's going to be necessary cancer. It's, it's going to be necessary to end because it's holding you back from getting to that happily ever after that you desire and that you deserve. And then here with the seven of cups cancer, you have to make the choice. You have to make the choice to Put yourself first concerning this person, this relationship, this connection. The choice, its its it looks overwhelming and you have your pros and cons possibly of what, uh, for this relationship, for this connection. And I encourage you to choose you every single time. Choose you every single time, Cancer, 
looking at the shadow card, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out. This was your shadow card. So shadow cards point to hopes or fears, right? You're going to learn <clears throat> that this relationship was not what it was presented as like it was not authentic from the beginning that's what i'm getting here from this page of pentacles you're going to have to learn that this connection that will be a huge sudden change likely the end of that relational con connection whether it's family whether it's work whether it's friends, it's huge, it's major, but you're gonna learn some things about this relationship that you had no idea. But I also feel like, Cancer, you may have been denying what was shown to you. You may have been denying what you saw. You may have been um, disregarding red flags in this relationship that has been holding you back from the happily ever after and the choice you must make, it will not feel good, unfortunately, but it is yet it is a necessary choice. You're going to learn to have to do life differently because this relationship is not serving you. Um, I need you to know that I need some clarification, Divine Spirit, if you will, please give us more clarification for Cancer and this relationship that looks like it's coming to a sudden end, but it is for the betterment of Cancer. Cancer, choose yourself every time. Divine Spirit. This reading is giving me a touch of sadness. I'm, I read intuitively and I don't want you to panic, Cancer, but I want you to know what, honestly, my goodness, honestly, what is happening. All right, so the Knight of Swords jumped out. You're going to have to you're going to have to take swift action, Cancer, and you're going to have to assert yourself. Be very assertive, be firm with this person that you no longer will tolerate less than what you deserve. Cancer, this is what I'm getting. Be assertive. It will not feel good but it will be good for you. Swift action. Again, swift action. Do not let this linger. Do not let this linger, Cancer. This cannot continue. Not if you are to be well mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. This is swift action. This is assertiveness. And this chariot moves this chariot moves you control the situation the ball is no longer in their court because you know this now you must control the situation and you must move swiftly with determination with willpower take the action to make sure this does not continue this is not good for you one more card divine spirit Mm. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Oh my goodness. Cancer. Cancer, come on. Spirit, I feel you. Okay. The truth. The truth is coming. I don't know if you've been avoiding the red flags or disregarding the red flags, Cancer, but this person has been betraying you. They have been smiling in your face and stabbing you in your back. Take swift action. I need you to take 
swift action to get control over this cancer. This is not okay. It's not. And this is really pulling on me emotionally right now for you. <clears throat> but you can do this. This is for your betterment. Let's pull one card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Cancer. Divine Spirit, give us the overall outcome for Cancer the week of February 25th through March 2nd. I'm actually shaking um, while I'm doing this reading. But I will maintain cancer. We're going to get through this together. Divine Spirit, single oracle, over our overarching theme and outcome for cancer this week. Right here. Right now. Oh, the Fool's Embrace. Transmuting pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love this for you, Cancer. Transmuting pain, meaning you are going to turn that pain into something that is good for you, Cancer. Do you understand? When you take swift action to stop this betrayal, halt it. A sudden halt of betrayal by someone close to you, familial or friendship or coworker, colleague, the choice is going to be hard, but the choice is necessary. Swift action to cut it off because you are going, once you do that, you are going to be able to transmute your pain into something that is more beneficial for your well-being and for your good. You are going to reset the foundation of your life. You are going to be able to have the stability that you desire because you may have been feeling off kilter for a little while. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. You're turning that pain into pleasure. You're turning that pain into confidence. You're turning that pain into joy. Transmute the pain. All right, Cancer. One more spirit animal oracle for Cancer. Divine spirit. What spirit animal will cancer and body this week one card divine spirit one card for cancer Mm, come on, Cancer, Divine Spirit, we are grateful. Embody the Dove Spirit this week, Cancer. Be peace. Be peace, Cancer. Be peace. And you will have peace attracted to you. Be peace. This will allow for growth. It will allow you to express yourself in ways that are beneficial to you in every move you make, Cancer. Be peace. I'm excited for you because you're about to turn this whole thing around. All right, Cancer. I appreciate you tuning in today. And I do hope that this message has resonated with you and given you some clarity. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.